Hi, I'm Clara Pullman, and I'm a sophomore. Hi, I'm Hope Stratman, and I'm a junior. I'm Chris Keen, and I'm a junior, and we go to Scott. I'm a guy! Let's go! And this poem was titled, Existential Joy. I'm lying, eyes closed, in the corner of an empty choir room, wishing it all away, the autoplay piano assisting my cause. Mozart trickles drop by drop into my ears and collects in my lungs. But the next minute, I'm not alone. My eyes flicker open as he sits. He tells me that sometimes... I think about existence. I tell him, you think too much. But he says that he thinks about... How there are seven billion heads on Earth. Fourteen billion knees, who knows how many toes. But fourteen billion hinge just grabbing for meaning in the nothingness of birth and life and death. I don't know what to say. So briefly, I pull the shutters over my eyes again in spite of him, attempt to swallow down the lurid bubble of panic slowly rising up my throat. He says- The idea of being something is too comforting for our own good. So we grasp onto it with our desperate eyes and greedy fingers. He says- We're nothing compared to the world. The world is nothing compared to the solar system. The solar system to the galaxy, to the regions of debris in this cosmic universe. He says- We're nothing. I say, oh. <laughs> I drop an index finger onto my smooth temple, rub the skin on my forehead creasing. I listen a little closer to the melody, focusing on the e natural that is all I can hold on to. He says, That's why I don't believe in God. Because sometimes humans put meaning into things that don't have meaning. I squeeze my eyes just a bit tighter, draw circles on my palm with my index finger. When the sun devours the planet, it'll be like we never existed. E-natural, just listen! Nothing! Slowly, I sit up, draw my legs towards my faltering chest, press my forehead into the roughness of my knees. Despite the sonata, the quiet is unbearable. <laughs> But we're the only things in this universe that can write. I somehow find my voice. We're the only creatures that have constructed tree houses or built our own wings out of steel for what we lack in feathers. No other in this universe, not the blasting supernovas or the miles of ocean or the quarks on a pin top could ever make music to hold me. Humans know the sound of a heart cracking. But we're still walking around this clump of rock because despite carrying desperation in the fissures of our spines, despite, despite our nothingness, we've despite somehow known love. And however many ears or bony stick arms will exist on this planet before the sun goes out, you are alive. And I am alive. And this altar of doorknobs and jello and trombones that we've made is us. And I think that is very certainly something.